Hello guys, Nitro here again, bringing you another ghost commentary. And today it's actually a pretty good gameplay. I'm playing against a full clan with just one of my friends, Carlos Quinto MX. And he actually goes positive in this. But other than that, everybody, I think everybody else goes negative except for one person. He gets like two kills over. Not, not something major. Um, the clan I was playing against was, I think, Yusuk. Yeah, Yusuk. There you go. It was Yusuk, but <laughs> apparently they sucked. And I basically beasted all of them. I mean, I did get um, a lot of deaths. I think I get 12 in this gameplay. But against the clan who had mics, they you know did the whole connection thing with each other it was pretty difficult and here again guys sniper thermal combo every single time but don't worry i get my revenge right here and playing against the clan what i like to do is you know shoot one person move to another side and try to be unexpected i guess you know because I know they're going to be calling out my location and that's not always good. And I try to move a lot so they don't anticipate my my moves and stuff. And you're going to see up here when I, when I get up on the second floor over here. I kill one guy and then of course from behind they probably called me out or they saw on the minimap and boom. I get knifed in the face. Oh my god. Worst ways to die. Knifing. Thermals and IEDs it's the worst but yeah I got on pretty good streaks on this gameplay I mean nothing really spectacular I think I never get my blind eye on uh, my uh, specialist package but but I do go in a little streaks right now I'm pretty proud of this gameplay because obviously it was uh, against the whole clan and I basically beasted everybody and what else? Using the vector, new vector, when um, cause it got nerfed. It got a, uh, what did it get? Range. It got better range, I think it did. So, it does uh, a lot better. And I like how it has vertical recoil instead of circular recoil, like some of the other guns. And I really like that about it, cause even if I shoot their feet, it goes up to their face, and it kills them a little bit quicker. And here I use my teammate as a shield, <laughs> as a bait, I guess, and <laughs> I get the kill. So thank you, Martinez, for that baiting on your part. It really helped me out, and it helped the team out. And this gameplay was really good because, well, not only because I won, but because it kept on going, you know. Um, we were winning, then they were winning, and it basically was like that the whole the whole game and I really liked that about it because it kept it interesting it kept me motivated it kept me on my toes and I wasn't playing super hardcore like try hard but it was good and that sniper in the middle of the road lying down prone <laughs> but playing against the clan I would rather recommend you using a silencer instead of a non silence gun because it obviously keeps you off the minimap and it's harder for them to give to give out your location and here I thought I can take take three guys on but they beasted me <laughs> I didn't even get a shot on them but that's another thing about this game uh, it's it's about how well you know your game if you think you can can uh, play a little bit better than somebody else you should take a little bit more risk to get the reward you know uh, take more risk better reward I don't know what the saying is but it goes something like that and here I get double kill good shit um, and if you're a, more of an average player you know gets on once in a while just to have a little bit of fun get the most kills you can I would really recommend using an assault rifle the like the AK-12 I think it's called AK-12 with silencer and grip really good combination because it keeps it steady and it has really good range even though it has a silencer and I would recommend to stay away from the submachine guns because in my 
in my opinion, they're a little bit more skill-based to use. You need more skill in order to use them. But if you want a good challenge, I would recommend using the, the submachine guns. They are a little bit funner than the assault rifles because you run a little bit faster and you're a little bit quicker to get to your positions, get a little bit um, better kills. And here's where I'm telling you about the assault rifle versus the submachine gun differences in the range. And here I turn around. I don't know why I turned around. I think I saw some guy in the back when on the minimap. And yeah, there he was trying to outfox him. And I obviously do, of course. Um, what else? What else? Oh yeah, here's the, here's the famous play I wanted it to bring up I was one shot and then I jump drop shot go the other direction jump drop shot kill the other guy and I'm gonna start calling that the nitro cuz uh, I've done it in in my past videos uh, it was in my first video and, and yeah guys if you guys can help me out spread the word do the nitro but yeah guys it's getting really difficult to continue with the commentary I don't even know what to talk about anymore. I have no more ideas. So if you guys would please leave a comment below uh, telling me what I can talk about next, you know, giving me some suggestions. In the end, I go 39 and 12, I believe. My friend goes 11 and 8. And here I finally decided to switch to my MTAR with muzzle brake and grip again. My favorite class, my tryhard class. I just wanted to make sure we got the win. And the gameplay is about to end so guys if you like the video please like comment subscribe and thank you for watching guys it really helps me out i really appreciate all your help and again guys thank you so much for all your support nitro out